We've all been there. You accidentally hurt your dog. Perhaps you unintentionally step on their tail, stumble over them, or shout at them. Now, of course, you feel bad about your actions and want things to go back to normal. Apologizing to your dog is the best way to keep your relationship strong after you've committed a canine offense. But how do you tell your dog you're sorry? And even if you do, will a dog understand when you apologize? Stay tuned to find out. It is important to remember that dogs are very different species with their own distinctive ways of thinking. While they are intelligent animals, they don't have the same concept of apologizing as humans do. However, if we do something harmful to our dog, then showing them that we didn't mean to hurt them is very important. Dogs may not be able to understand an apology in the human sense, but they can feel love and affection. The key is to reconnect with your dog, reassuring them that you pose no threat and harbor no anger towards them. Researchers have found that the best way to apologize to a dog is to speak in a baby voice. Dogs are actually more responsive and prefer being spoken to in this way. So speaking in a baby voice will confirm that they did nothing wrong and that you are not a threat. If you have accidentally hurt them, approach them in a calm and gentle manner to reduce their tension. And while you might be tempted to hug or kiss your pet to apologize, this is often not a good idea. For many dogs, going for a big hug or bringing our face close to them could be perceived as a threat. How long do dogs stay angry? Due to how short-term memory works in canines, dogs forget one-off bad events fairly quickly. So, if you accidentally step on your dog's tail and apologize, the dog won't hold a grudge against you. However, Dogs remember abuse and repeated mistreatment for the rest of their lives. This is because dogs also have associative memories. Your dog will learn through experience that you are a threat. This doesn't mean that the dog is holding a grudge. It is just that the dog is merely keeping itself safe. They are trying to protect themselves and prevent a traumatic event from reoccurring. So, while your dog won't remember genuine accidents and honest mistakes, they'll remember abuse and a routine of negativity. How to know if your dog has forgiven you If you're concerned that your dog may be holding a grudge against you for something, it's important to observe their behavior. If your dog avoids making eye contact with you after a negative experience, it may be an indication that they are still processing what happened and don't feel safe around you yet. A dog who pointedly looks away and avoids eye contact is usually trying to avoid any kind of interaction, good or bad. You often notice this in dogs recently rescued from negative or traumatic situations. Likewise, if your pet doesn't respond to your commands, it may be a sign they still don't trust you enough to want to follow your instructions. On the contrary, if your dog shows relaxed body language and shows no signs of fear or anxiety when you're in their presence, it's a good sign that they have forgiven you. Even better, if your dog approaches you, licks you, wags their tail, and wants to play or cuddle with you, it's a clear sign that they have moved past the incident and feel comfortable in your presence once again. It's important to remember that dogs don't hold grudges the same way humans do, and they are generally forgiving animals. As long as you are showing your pet love and care, it's likely that they will forgive you for any mistakes or misunderstandings. How to apologize to a hurt or scared dog Sometimes, dogs can get seriously scared when their owners hurt them by accident. This jumpiness is more common in shelter dogs that have lived in abusive homes as they tend to mistrust humans. If you notice your dog is hiding in a corner and refuses to come near, you can soothe them by talking to them in a calm voice. Calling them from a safe distance will help to build trust. Give your pet plenty of personal space and allow your dog to approach you at their own pace. Use treats to reward good social interactions with you or to entice them to walk towards you. How to show your dog affection so they know you still love them Once you've apologized to your dog by talking in a friendly voice, you may find that your dog is still distant from you. This could happen especially after a serious incident or previous trauma they've experienced. To regain your dog's trust, spend time actively being kind to them. Pet them, take them out to do what they love, play, run, and chase. Binge watch some TV from your beanbag chair. Avoid punishments or harsh discipline. Perhaps the best way to show your dog affection is to simply give them attention. Nobody, be they human or canine, feels loved when ignored. How to talk to your dog according to science If you're talking to a dog, increase the pitch of your voice and use dog-related words. 
A new study has shown that when we use a higher pitch when talking to our dogs, it really does help the animals to pay attention more. The research, published in the journal Proceedings of the Royal Society, showed that talking to dogs using dog-directed speech makes them react and attend more to their human companion than regular speech. What is more is that talking this way creates a stronger bond between you and your pet. So if you're someone who talks to your dog as if you're talking to a baby, you're doing it right. On a similar note, studies using MRI scanner have shown that dogs understand a little bit more about human speech than we think. They understand vocabulary regardless of intonation. So dogs will not only listen to the tone of your voice, but your choice of words as well. If you say a mean thing to a dog in a friendly tone, the dog knows. Dogs are incredibly attentive animals. Notice how whenever you talk to your canine, they look at you as if they're listening? You generally don't get that with any other pet like rabbit or cat. Even monkeys don't look at us when we speak. And when dogs tilt their head when we speak, it's them trying to understand what we're saying. Common Actions That Could Damage Your Dog's Trust There are several ways you might inadvertently damage the trust between you and your canine friend. If you regularly force your dog to do things they don't want to do, it can create distance between you and your pet. Common examples are teasing them, pulling on their tail, or forcing them to be around other aggressive dogs when they don't want to be. Likewise, dogs dislike when you frequently take away their resources. Using their beloved bones and toys as a means of control should be avoided. Constantly yelling or even hitting your dog can also definitely damage their trust. It is important to remember that reward-based training is far more effective than physical punishment. Reward-based training helps build trust and strong bonds between dogs and their owners. Do dogs say sorry to each other? Dogs are social animals who need each other for food, safety, warmth, and all of the other benefits of group living. So it stands to reason that they tend to cooperate and try to minimize conflict. In one study, Researchers observed 177 dogs interacting with one another at a two-acre dog park over eight months to learn more about their conflicts and reconciliation. They found that both victims and aggressors tended to spend more time together after a conflict. After a rough play, dogs often attempt to calm the tensions and remain in good standing with their social group by licking each other, staying close to each other, or rolling on their backs and acting submissive. But remember, Although dogs may exhibit behaviors that help in diffusing tension, it's not accurate to interpret those actions as apologies in the human sense. Apologizing is a complex social behavior that requires a deep understanding of wrongdoing, feeling guilt, and the ability to communicate remorse. While dogs are intelligent animals, there have been a number of studies that have found dogs don't experience secondary emotions such as guilt or shame. Now that you have learned more about how to apologize to your dog, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you ever found yourself needing to apologize to your pet? Have they ever held a grudge against you? Share your own experience and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.